this song has stayed with me because it's been like a guiding light of a little nugget of hope, you know, at times when it's felt hopeless. So it helped me through a time in my life where I needed it, you know, and I've seen it do that for others. I was on the train going to see Jordan Rakai, he was on the chorus, he produced it. Usually when I'm on the way to the studio, I'm picking up any piece of inspiration to, to talk about. And when I got to the studio, it just kind of like fell out, I guess. I was sat up on the train, staring out the window with the rain. Uh, I heard this little lady must have felt the pain, ask her mum if the blazing sun will ever shine again. There's a little girl sat in front of me and she was talking to her mum, just saying like, Where, where's the sun gone, you know? Kids are so like immediate and present in their life that they don't see like yesterday or tomorrow, right? So she kind of couldn't believe that the sun would ever come back because it's so rainy in the UK. In the next line I'm saying I feel exactly the same way. You know, we have completely different perspectives on the same thing. Hers is like a, a beautiful innocence and mine is kind of like a weighted scepticism, you know? And those two things are existing two seats apart. I felt ashamed, feel the same, not a mother though. Nah, started to laugh, got a son involved. I uh, mentioned the past like a running joke and told it without all the rain, there's no stunning growth. It was like the mum was speaking to me. In the moment, I was looking out the window thinking, fuck, do you know what I mean? Like, it's raining again, and I'm tired, and I'm sad a little bit, and you know, like, when is it gonna get easier? Kind of felt like, yes, she was saying it to her daughter, but she was also saying to me, like, we need this, you know? Like, like, without rain, shit doesn't grow. Close to everything and nothing. Picture past the honeymoon and bluffing, where the wooden spoon is only cuffing. Shorten the discussion, but the roots can't maneuver out and nothing. I've been suffering these dreamy days. I was listening to a lot of Roots Maneuver when I was making this album. And this song, Dreamy Days, he has some lyrics, um, which is, we're walking down the primrose road to everything and nothing. So can you picture past the honeymoon, where you beat me with the wooden spoon? Now I'm sleeping on the couch, got me thinking, whose house is this? Oh, it goes off and off. I'm kind of paying homage to you like, you can see me, but the roots is roots manoeuvre. Remedying lust, don't hold any memories of us. Rather hold you every day until the memories are dust. Only caught the train because you know I hate the bus. Never get enough. Fuck the bus, man. It takes ages. It smells bad. A lot of kids was getting robbed on the bus. I love the train. The train's quick, efficient. I love the train. They ask about the Bible I was reading. Told them that the title was misleading. Labelled it Jerusalem, but really it's for cooking Middle Eastern. Name of the song, name of the chef, Yotai Matalengi. One day my friend Mikey bought me this um, book of his called Jerusalem, and I loved it. And I was just, yeah, reading this book on a train, and these guys sat next to me, were kind of looking at me funny, trying to talk to me about religion and asking me I should go back to where I'm from, and I was trying to explain, this isn't a Bible. So yeah, it was kind of funny, I had these two polar opposite interactions at the same time, on the same train. Cigarette mine was changing with the seasons, shaded for a reason. Ah, uh, they would start decreasing, leaving like the orange in the evening. Yo was creeping through the clouds. I'm proud to see the images releasing. I wish the little lady could have seen her, but she was dreaming. All of us are sat there on this train, you know, this douchebag guy here, this beautiful girl, and myself. And then all of us just stopped talking, all of us stopped worrying, because the thing that we're worried about never coming back comes back. Yeah, that's it, it's just a thank you, that section is a thank you to the sun. I reckon she's standing with her mum, saying to her, look, mother, there's the sun, rooted in the moment till the memories are done. I sit and start to wonder on the woman she'll become, because now I got a son, not a daughter. The one that I brought up, he's strung, he's telling me to run. I'm trying to find a son, I'm trying to get it done. I know my son, yeah, he's as clever as his mum. One. When I wrote this, my girlfriend wasn't pregnant, there was no kids on the horizon, you know, I was just a young man, free and easy. So this is kind of like a re imagining of the original lyrics, right, that changed because of touring. Things changed, like he is strong. Um, he is telling me to run, but like not run away, like run alongside, you know? Um, and yeah, like I'm trying to, trying to find a sum of money to, to keep my family together like everybody is, you know? Everybody who's trying to provide. I'm proud to say and scared to say that my son is, is as intelligent as my girlfriend is, so I'm in trouble. I think with friends of mine, artists that I know and ones that I love that I don't know, always talk about their big songs, like the ones that have done the best for them, they hate them, you know? And so I feel very lucky that like maybe my biggest song or one of my biggest songs is like one that I still really love and I'm proud of. 